In this video we're going to look at some edible spring tree crops. So our first stop here is at the redbud tree. And this one fortunately is growing pretty low so the kids can grab them right off the, off the branches here. But these flowers are delicious right off the tree. Eat them fresh, put them on a salad. People candy them, put them in jelly, that sort of thing. Um, super tasty. Uh, red bud, you can see this time of year, it's the only thing purple in the tree landscape. So you can sort of see them um, all throughout the landscape. The only thing pink, there you go. Um, they're all over, delicious. Um, red bud's a non-nodulated legume, so maybe fixes a little bit of nitrogen, but it also has these uh, bean-like seed pods in the late summer and those can be harvested well, when they're young and tender and sauteed or eaten, eaten raw as well. So red buds first stop, you'll find these along the edge of the forest, um, sometimes in the understory of the forest, but they really like full sun. So, losing some, alright let's go check out something else. So a lot of tree leaves are edible. Young maple leaves are okay. Beech trees have edible leaves that I haven't tried. Sassafras is delicious. Um, but nothing, in my opinion, is as good as these young basswood leaves. Uh, people call this linden tree or tilia. Um, it's got this heart-shaped leaf with these jagged serrations and the bottom you can see it sort of like goes to a point and curves ever so slightly um, anyway um, you can eat them raw when they're young like this and they've just come out um, and even for the next for the next few weeks they stay pretty tender you can cook them, make them even more tender, but I just like to eat them right off the tree. Um, they've got a real mild, pleasant flavor, almost a little, a little watermelon rind or something in there. Great crop. Um, I, so these trees, they get huge. Um, you know, full size, 60, 60 foot tall tree, maybe bigger. Um, hard to get the leaves. So having young ones that you've planted and continuously coppicing or pollarding them. So occasionally cutting them down to a stump so that you keep the growth low and can always harvest them. I, I suggest putting one around the edge of your property somewhere out in the sun. Great perpetual salad greens every year no replanting um, I think this one's really popular in the UK they might call it lime tree anyway worth planting worth finding one harvesting as much as you can um, trees generally are adapted to having their young leaves eaten um, in the spring is when a lot of insects come out and defoliate trees. So they're able to bounce back from pretty hard harvest this time of year. No reason to take all the leaves, but don't have to worry about too much. They will send out more leaves. Um, so feel free. Harvest, harvest as much as you can eat. I learned from a five-year-old at our school that young maple leaves are edible. Um, if you unfold them, you can see they have the characteristic maple shape. Um, I've read online that most maple types are edible. Sugar maple maybe being the most prominent. Um, anyway, they're okay. Nothing to write home about. Um, got some better stuff we'll look at later.